hi everyone and welcome back so in the last video we were talking about baselining a simple apis and we were adding all the configurations which are required to bootstrap a simple applications like commit lint configurations eslint prettier and uh, we updated the package json with all required modules we updated the npm scripts to run the lint prettier and we also we were also using husky to enforce uh, and run the prettier when you are doing the git commits okay now in this video let's see uh, earlier we had these nest ninja apis and there were most of some errors were there while setting it up because i was creating the config files outside this folder that leads to some errors unexpected errors but all these configurations should be inside a root of the project like uh, commit config uh, just config and ts config and all and prettier ignore prettier rz now let's say you are creating a create react tab with the typescript template okay i mean it's easy to set up uh, what i did just uh, executed a simple command and it gave me this folder structure now this this already has the this react scripts if you're not ejecting it right then it has all these things inside it right it won't even expose you what all dependencies it is holding inside that's why you can see it is even validating through the ESLint. When I'm doing npm run start, I didn't even update the code. Like I just uh, remove this uh, particular accessibility feature. It's working fine right now. If I start removing these things, then I will start getting ESLint uh, warnings while starting the application, right? So if I just remove this one more, then I will get one more, right? So ESLint feature is already enabled the prettier and ESLint feature. You can have a prettier exposed, but I think it is already formatting the code. And uh, this is the advantage of uh, using the existing CLI generators like Angular CLI, Create React App, Create Next App already has all those features inbuilt in these uh, generators, right? So now next thing we will just simply talk about is uh, how we can uh, set up a simple monorepo, right? Because uh, as a Ninja developer, you might be building a multiple applications, multiple microservices and front end back end. So it's not like you will have these baseline set up for each and every service and then executing a different, different command in different, different repositories. So the better option is create a simple monorepo which we are going to spin off here i just added a basic configurations like package json okay which has these basic uh, packages some eslint packages husky and then commit chain commit lint and i have this configurations prettier rc prettier ignore i don't have a eslint it depends on you if you want to add a eslint uh, configurations for your project because the, the problem is when you enforce ESLint, you cannot because create react app has its own ESLint rules, which it's running. Maybe if you are using Svelte kit has its own things. So it's better to just enforce only the prettier at the root level and let them have this uh, ESLint uh, enforced rules inside these particular repositories. So let's say if I do simply inside apps, I will create two folders because this is PNPM workspace and packages and apps are part of the workspace so packages and i can create apps and i can just use these simple simple commands if i want to create a react app with the typescript support i will go inside apps and we can execute a simple command to have the typescript app which is i will just say ninja ui Okay, it's template TypeScript. Sim similarly, we will also create a Nest.js app inside this. CD apps Nest new. Sorry, it's a Nest new, and I will call it as a Ninja APIs. And we are using PNPM, so I will get all these installed. And then we will see what all dependencies we can keep at the root 
and what all dependencies we can clean up because at the root of this packages because we are using pnpm workspace and these packages will can get symlink to all the sub packages inside this workspace you know, i mean we don't have many dependencies what i want to enforce is all the projects which are using react typescript no typescript should be using typescript version 4.5.5 .5, so we can be on the same page okay the whole workspace the packages applications all the code is using same typescript version and prettier we are running at the top so when you are just running a commit we also have a husky so when you are running a commit husky will enforce you to run this prettier with a git commit and then we can have a proper prettier configuration configured for all the repository code a single prettier configuration otherwise what will happen is every repository have their own configuration ESLint I'm not enforcing the region is clear because these repositories have their own internal ESLint configuration rule like uh, react app or the generated apps they already have ESLint enforced and they are not even exposing ESLint RC because create react, have, create react ha app has its own when you do eject obviously then you will get what is the ESLint RC what is the prettier configurations and all so it is taking some time but here you can see I will just do npm install at the root also pnpm install and the advantage of this is uh, you are getting this nx console because here we are also using nx nx.json you can see here and nx is added as a dependency nx is a monorepo which will help us in automating a lot of things so it will expose us all the scripts we have added in the, all the different applications and packages and from a single place we can actually uh, execute different different commands it, it is also actually caching these repeated commands like build lint test and e2e my node module installation is little slow i think and then we'll go to nx nx workspace will help us to execute all these commands so now let's see this uh, the monorepo way here we have this monorepo and i have added this ninja api and ninja ui right this is the create react app with the typescript template and this is an sgs app now what what is the advantage we are going to get by using this monorepo and the workspace the the biggest advantage of the using workspace is you would be able to link the packages let's say you wanted to build some reusable piece of code or reusable piece of library which you want to use in multiple nest chess applications in that case you can just create a simple package and then link it locally without even publishing that package to the npm repository that's the biggest advantage on top of that you, the common root dependencies are here in the packages and like the ESLint, Prettier, some conventional commit uh, dependencies and TypeScript, all the root level dependencies are here. And you can execute because we are now using NX on top of this PNPM workspace. So if you install this plugin, you can just play around with all these different scripts. Build, I'm just running build. I'm just running build for this PNPM for this NestJS API and you can also run many i mean you can run many uh, command so it will run the build command on all the different repository all the different workspaces so workspace is really useful when you are you are building two applications one front end back end multiple services and your front end in react next years i mean multiple applications if you are just writing a standalone app in the react or in nest yes, then you can have an individual repository but there are lots of advantages of using the monorepo and as a ninja developer you must learn it and you must start using it because what happens is let's say you are using a backend and frontend you will create two folders and you will install the individual dependencies inside two different folders and then run all these tasks independently it's better to create a monorepo and then put all your applications let's say ninja ui ninja apis and ninja auth service ninja card service ninja delivery service whatever the microservices you keep adding here your front end ninja next ui ninja react ui you keep adding those dependencies here and then 
on top of these workspaces you can also add annex which is a monorepo tool and we can automate lots of things using that you can see all the applications you can build you can start you can control here and if you can see annex json it you can also do the caching of the build operations some repeated operations which doesn't require to execute the code again and again okay and uh, here you can see our package json the root package json we can extract out the common dependencies and can focus on the required dependencies in the applications which are application specific like the dependencies specific to the nest js dependencies specific to the the react js uh, react dom libraries so as a ninja developer you should use the monorepo tools to create your uh, full stack applications which is using front end back end and you should enforce the your commits using commit lint and you should use the prettier and es lint to enforce some standard guidelines so here you can see we can just do, uh, do a prettier write we can run all these commands we can run prettier which is checking the prettier configurations uh, similarly you can just do a lint and here you can see prettier and prettier rc this is executing uh, on all the code which we have in the monorepo okay so i will recommend I, I will recommend going through the 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 monorepo way for building these applications where you have multiple services multiple front and back end app and you can take the advantage of using first of all you will be using some workspace either the pnpm npm or yarn workspace so you should be able to link the packages locally and you can import let's say i will create a, some react common packages react common components inside these packages i will just call it as a ninja commons here i will put all the react packages and then i can import those react packages inside my react apps so you should be able to link those packages inside your applications locally without even publishing them and then you can add this nx monorepo tooling to automate those all different tasks like building all the projects together uh, running the particular task uh, through the npm scripts running these applications and controlling centrally with caching and all those different features i already have a separate playlist which talks about monorepo and as a ninja developer you should go through it okay so in the next video we will talk about how to plug and play with git okay i will not be talking about git basics but the branching strategies as a ninja developer how you should build a feature and raise a merge request pull request to the github or gitlab